Hello and welcome. Zevlin here. Let's continue a little bit more of our Scandinavia campaign. Our agent was discovered. That's not good. Let's slow him down a little bit. Really need that to be fast. Uh, yeah, I guess not. I have lots of time before that truce is up. So let's improve relations with Castile while we have an extra diplomat. Just keep those my two excellent allies topped off as much as possible. Just in case Russia, France, or Austria my big enemies start getting any ideas I have more money again so I'll be building more boats more and more and more boats let's move you down here along with you guys right here any chance I can vassalize you Base tax. Dang. I thought it'd be big enough. That would be nice. Because there's a lot of trade power to be had there. Novgorod. I'm still transferring from Novgorod? Oh, I had a guy all the way up in the North Sea? What the heck? did have a guy up here. That's fine. There's not a lot to transfer up there. I'd rather have him here. Yeah, I moved a guy from... I meant to move him from here, but I'm glad... I didn't even know I had a guy up here, so I'm glad that I moved that guy. Oh, production efficiency. That's no good. Another thing I could do, instead of just building tons and tons of boats, even though that is fun, I could be building trade buildings. Hmm. Let's actually, let's look. Let's go to trade. Right, Hamburg definitely needs trade buildings. Yes, definitely needs that. Right here? Yes. Man, I really want Stetton. Uh, you... Oh, I don't have enough. Wait till I have enough money and then I'll build this. Definitely keep those trade buildings going in the places where there's lots of trade power already. Um... Local trade power, sure, why not? Should I build... No, I don't think I'm going to worry about the North Sea. I have that pretty much tied up. Why do I not have a guy there? I guess it's all moving forward anyway. Me putting a guy there really does nothing. Yeah, it's all moving forward, every single bit of it. So, don't need that a guy there anyway. Uh, I'm going to focus on those places rather than the North Sea. I really don't need anybody in the North Sea, or any trade power in the North Sea. So, I'll have to wait for those buildings to finish and then I'll build more stuff. But for now, I'm going to build more boats. They'll truce for six years with England. That's fine. It gives me some time to, you know, top up my fleet. Catch up on some technology. So I'm pretty far behind on technology. Making a lot of money. I really could. Oop, my power projection low. No, 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 no. Let's, uh. 
Let's just make you be pirates. Pirates in Novgorod. Yes. There we go. It's so much power projection. And then any new boats I build, I will be replacing them. New boats. Now I'll just wait for the next ones to build. Suddenly making tons and tons of money. I was definitely far behind from those wars with Austria that put me behind financially. It's kind of hard to recover, but once you get rolling, it starts getting pretty easy. I have lots of buildings to build. I'm going to actually lower maintenance a little bit more since I have, like, no revolt risk anywhere. Mecklenburg is it. Speaking of that, uh, I do have guys there. Okay, so they'll be fine. Probably ought to edge that up just a bit. Yeah, just in case. Trade efficiency or money now. It's a lot of money now. I will take the money now because I have lots of fun stuff to build. Speaking of which, let's build it there. And there. And there. We'll trade stuff in all those places. Let's go here. Let's look at buildings. Let's go ahead and build trade buildings everywhere else anyway. Yeah, except for I'm out of Diplo power now. That's fine. I have places where I can build temples, huh? That's good. Is that it? No, it doesn't say that's it. Where else can I build a temple? I don't see it. Oh well. Um, let's see. What else could I build? Constables? Do I have anything with trade? Let's look. Let's go to ledger, go to buildings, go to production. Actually, since I have so much money, what I should really do is go to manufactories. Let's go to production. Sort by production. Right here, look at this. I need a manufactory there, for sure. And... That's not going to be that much. Yeah, five. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to call that good. It's enough manufacturers. They're very, very expensive and takes a long time to return on investment there. So, let's build more boats. Actually, well, except for I just built in all the top places, I'm going to have to wait a while before I start building more buildings. So all the top places are building buildings anyway. Well, not really. Let's, I'm going to go back on that. I like buildings. I love boats, but I like buildings a lot too. All right, let's go to production. Sort by the top production places. You can build a constable here. And a workshop here. Here and here. And I think I'm going to call that good. I'm going to cut it off here. Yeah, these will take more than 50 years to pay for themselves. Alright, let's grab up boats. Where boats? Come on. Boats. Boats. Move here. Let's grab. You're being a pirate. Didn't I have another group that was... No, not yet? Okay. Boats. Protect trade in. Oh, they're winning 
there. That's not good. Anyway, I think I get more money out of the Baltic. Yeah, there's still lots of money to be transferred. Which means I should probably focus on these ones that are in the Baltic building trade buildings help me out there wait for all these buildings to build because they're my most important places so I don't want to spam a bunch of buildings in other places and waste money Let's get these places that are best built up first. Yeah, there's more. More boats. We'll just stick them here for now. I'm going to build new... Yeah, we'll get them transferring, I guess. Let's get them rolling. Baltic. Bam. I'll pick him up when I build more boats, which I should be doing soon. It's going to be several years before these... Or, well, sorry, several months before these buildings are done. Another six months. suppose I could wait for them. close am I to finishing my uh, build boats mission? Eh, it's still a ways off. We need like 225. It's like 50-ish more boats. No, what I really actually want. More transports. That'll give me 30, 32. That should be enough to get any army I need. Instead of sending armies in halves, I'll just have enough transports. Speaking of transports, there's a colony. Send these guys over here. Version. All right, down to just two. Excellent. And another colony. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and top both these up. Let's split this guy in half. Move him there. Actually, take this leader off. No leader. Let's put a leader on this guy and go exploring a little bit. Boats, move them back. Considering building a couple more heavy ships, how close to building new heavy ships am I? Did I just get him? Galleons at level 15. Yeah, it's gonna be. I'll wait until I have level 19 Diplotech behind two, so that means that other people have 19, so I definitely ought to build some of those when I get a chance. My buildings are getting done. Excellent. So for the manufacturers, man, those take forever. Okay, trade. You. You build a post office. You... Also build a post office in a few months. There goes a great man. Diplo guy. I only have level ones to, to pick from. I will definitely pick the trade efficiency guy. Let me make a little bit of money. Manufacturing take are so expensive. It takes so long. Sometimes I wonder if they're even worth it. Uh, no, I don't want to alliance with you. Just do the local trade power. And admin tech. Textile manufacturing. Wool or cloth. Not going to build any of those. So very far ahead on military tech. Leader. 
you split in half, half you go up here, half you go here. I'm going to have two large armies here. They probably won't be moving until I'm done with England, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and top up the maintenance, which I can actually afford to do now. That's excellent. Um, trade efficiency and that, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to lose stability. Ooh, that was a fairly decent size hit. Huh. This could be interesting. I hope England does come in. I might be able to do something. Let's see what this does. Oh, and Russia, too. Okay, well. England is in. Austria, Bohemia. Yeah, this is, um... Well, we outnumber them two to one. Have almost three times more cannons than they do. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I will have to just kind of sort of pay attention to this. Let's see, who is the war leader? Russia? So, I can't piece out anybody individually because Poland is the war leader. Russia is the war leader on this end, so what I need to do is just go ahead and start taking over England. Too bad I only got one claim. I may just have to take some um, things without claims this time. You need a leader for sure. There we go. <laughs> Has nothing else but six shock. Heck yeah. Alright, let's look at you. I'm going to get rid of you. And I can have three leaders, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and move you in there. Come on, boats. You're so slow. Okay, well, anyway, let's grab up our transport fleets. Is there anything in here to do? There's They'll be fine. I have plenty of trade fleets floating around there that'll take care of those guys. Let's see if I can move you down here. My transport fleet, fleets, just in case I need them. Let's see. Is France on my side? Holy crap, France is on my side too. Yeah, France is going to smash Austria. If they don't, Castile will definitely. This is the craziest war. Look at this. World War One early. Let's take a look. No, oh, no, Castile is not in this war. Never mind. They're in a different war. France should be able to handle this. Poland should be able to stave off this and help with France. I'm going to just move in on Russia. Oh, I could move in on Russia this way and help Poland out. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's move this one guy like over here. Let's take this guy over here. Let's move this guy in here. I probably ought to actually transport one of these guys over. I think I will do that. Let me park here. I don't need this. I don't need 70,000 guys on England. Ooh, speaking of that. Let me make sure this guy's protected. Stay right here. Did I lose? Oh, I just had this one little boat kicking around down here. Yeah, that's not good.
you get on the boat, at least as many as you can. Let's take you all the way up here. I don't want to risk going into the sea in case this guy pops out with his three heavies. You. Actually, not sure where the best place for you is. Looks like everything else has gotten smashed up. Let's just move you in here. Those are only trade ships, so that should be fine. Let's move you here. Move you here. Split you in half as well. Move you to London. Not in a huge hurry again, so I'm not going to blockade. I'm going to have to smash up Russia pretty good anyway, so I guess we'll just park these guys here and let them go. And there's my trade ships getting smashed up. Should be fine though. Alright, where do you think you're going? Oh, they're engaging. Not. They're afraid to engage. Let's see if I can make you dance for a little while. Let's see if I can keep you there long enough to move in an army from behind. I doubt it. Oh, I went the wrong way. I meant to speed up, not slow down. Where are you going now? That way, huh? Okay, that's fine. Ah, it is winter. I just did attrition a bunch of guys. Oh, they're standing still now. There we go. Let's just move in just like that. They didn't quite lose as many as I'd like. Let's put these guys back up before they get attrition to death. I'm gonna wait till spring for sure. I'm getting this tiny bit of attrition here. Not really though, minus 10%. Oh, that's actually quite good. Let's start moving in, because I think this side is pretty much wrapped up. Last year may be a little bit of a headache, but we'll be fine. I'm not sure if I want to split them up or not. Let's look at it. Russia. Military. Armies. R. Russia. Yeah, see, they still have uh, tons of troops left. I'm not sure where they are. But I am sure they, they will be showing up shortly. Because I don't see them over here. So I'm not sure I want to split these guys up or not. Probably not. Move them in big groups. Maybe I ought to go ahead and siege the capital. Let's move in like this. Start looting a little bit. Make sure I'm not getting insane amounts of attrition. I'm going to set just like this and wait for their armies to show up. So I'm going to move in groups of leaders forward going. Just to get a little bit of carpet siege going. 
little bit of extra loot. Some free population, that's nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here. So, when we come back, hopefully I'll be able to take a big chunk out of England. Too bad I couldn't fabricate a bunch of those claims, like I said, but that just saves me a little bit of admin points. I'm not too worried about that. I'll pick up one or two colonies, or one or two provinces, even though I don't have claims. And hopefully I'll be able to get them within the size to be able to annex them. That'd be nice. This stupid crap down here. They keep expanding. Good thing they can't expand too much further down here. because I'll have to take care of that as well. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to probably vassalize them for a while because they keep getting bigger. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you.